Hello, my name is Coral Sheldon Hess, and today I'm going to teach you very briefly about the healing brush tool in Adobe Photoshop CS5. So the healing brush tool doesn't actually look like a brush at all. It looks like a band-aid. Here it is over here. Now you want to be careful. I'm going to right click. Um, and you want to pick the one that doesn't have the weird doohickey under it. You want just healing brush tool, not spot healing brush tool. Um, and I think Captivate is going to give you helpful little descriptions of what all of my clicks are um, it's supposed to do anyway. Uh, so, Healing Brush Tool is a lot like Clone Stamp, but it's like a smarter Clone Stamp. Um, instead of just sampling some pixels and pasting them over some other pixels, what it can do is it, it samples and then it kind of blends in the ones it's uh, the ones it's it's pasting in like it it's just a lot smarter about how it does the sampling so I wanted to give you an idea of how this works and, and most of the tutorials on the internet uh, there's a ton and I suggest you go watch a couple they're great uh, but most of them work with faces and I didn't want to do that I wanted to work with a picture I had taken um, and maybe not call out every blemish on every friends of mine's face, just as an idea. So, this is the edited version of a picture I took of my favorite duck pond in Anchorage. Um, oh, it looks all serene, doesn't it? So nice, but here's the original. Oh, look at that. It's got, let me, let me zoom over just a bit. It's got this sign over here, and it's got all of these light poles and ew. Let me zoom in so you can see. We'll go. Yeah, see there's all these light poles and things. I'm going to switch back to the original. I'm sorry, the, the original I showed you, the edited one. And I'll show you where I see there were all these. Oh, where are those stop signs? They're gone. Isn't that cool? So, uh, let's go over somewhere where we can do something useful. This should work okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this pole. That's my plan anyway. So, same sort of idea as clone stamp. You alt click to choose an area and then you go over what you want to overwrite and you paint up it. And there's probably better brushes, I, you know, better brush sizes I could have picked for this. It's like any brush tool, you can change the brush size. Now, as we get here, there's a transition. Well, there should be. Yeah, okay. I'll finish painting. Let's see. Does the treetop end in the right place? Ah, uh, it ended a little early, but it may come out okay nonetheless. I'm still holding down my mouse. I don't think you can tell on Captivate. All right, up to the mountain, it's been really clean. Uh, oh, I just edited the mountain. Oops. So it did a little bit of blending there. Um, maybe more than it should have, in fact. Um, but look at how, see how I was painting up and it, it got the roof transition right? I'm just blown away by this tool. Sorry. <laughs> Very excited. Um, that's because it kept sampling over here as you were painting over here. Now, it does also sample the pixels around where you are. See this, this little explosion of snow down here? That happens because it's, it's trying to blend and it's, it's not always as smart about it as you might like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alt-click again. All right, and then I'm gonna paint my snow across. And because of that sampling, it's gonna take a couple of turns to kind of get rid of it. Let's, let's really paint that hard, right? Okay, and the light pole is pretty much gone. Now what I could do, if I'm a little more detail-oriented, is I could make my brush a little bigger and I'll click and kind of cover some of this this area where it feels like it's the wrong darkness and 
kind of repaint that and all of a sudden it, it looks a lot more real, doesn't it? Let me go up here and now I'm going to subtly but forever change the mountain. Got the angle on that one wrong. Let's see. How's that? Okay, the pole is gone. The mountain has changed forever. Um, <laughs> but when you zoom back out, you won't. <laughs> this doesn't make it ethical, but you won't see it. Anyway, so that is the healing brush tool. It's possibly my favorite tool, uh, except for Magic uh, Select, which is the best tool ever. Uh, this is probably my second favorite tool of all time.